storm track weather. Always tracking first to alert. Hello everyone and happy Sunday to you. I gave you a heads up yesterday that today the winds would be up a little bit, but they're not too bad. It's more of a breezy afternoon out there rather than some of those windy afternoons we've had in weeks past. But check this out. We're tracking 30 mile per hour wind gusts in El Paso, Las Cruces, 35 near 35 in Deming, a little bit lighter up in our area mountains and lighter out to our east as well. But I do expect these winds to continue for the next couple hours, but eventually after sundown, I do think they'll start to die down as they typically do. And overnight tonight, we should have a very pleasant night. It will be warm though, so make sure you wear the appropriate clothing with these hot temperatures, not only today, but for the next several days as well. Here's what your morning looks like tomorrow if you're getting ready, maybe hanging out with the family. I know some schools or maybe all schools in the region are out, so maybe the kids don't have to go to school. That's a good thing, in my opinion. Maybe some of you kids at home agree with that too, but here's what your morning looks like. Cool in the upper 70s to start lighter winds, then they'll start to rise to the mid 80s by 10 o'clock and tomorrow will be warm. We're looking at triple digits for El Paso and Las Cruces, so likely adding to our triple digit counters. 97 in Alamogordo is what I'm forecasting. Same in Deming, 99 in TRC and 94 in Sierra Blanca. So it's going to be quite hot tomorrow and the next several days as well. Here's a look at your seven day highs and check this out. 100, 100, 100 all the way through Sunday, even above 100. Our average high this time of year is 95. So we are going to be quite warm. It's gonna be hot, very sweaty. Make sure you take care of yourself. And here are some heat safety tips. Of course, the most important thing is to drink plenty of water, keep your body hydrated, and you could start right now to prepare for this upcoming week. You also want to wear one layer and uh, one layer of light colored clothing. That means tan, white, long sleeves as well. That way your body can uh, perspire. <laughs> You'll want to take frequent breaks as well. That way you can avoid getting any heat sickness and just stay indoors if you can. I know, of course, we do want to be headed out in these warm summer months. Looking at our drought monitor, we are still experiencing drought across the entire area, including El Paso. It's worse for Las Cruces. That's just because we are seeing, or last year, the monsoon wasn't as plentiful up there than it was down in El Paso, but we are having a chance of rain towards the end of the week. So this week will be full of 100s, but we're looking at the moisture to move in by the end.